Former Ukrainian lawmaker Mykola Martininko has been released without bail. He's accused of embezzling 17.3 million U.S. dollars. Ukraine's anti-corruption bureau arrested Martinenko last week for his alleged involvement in organized crime and corruption schemes involving uranium sales to a state-owned enterprise. He may face 12 years in prison if found guilty. It was decided to find companies that would agree to sell uranium at inflated prices to the state-owned enterprises, and the money saved went to the accounts of officials. It was used to pay for their children's education, for certain insurance services, and so on. The ex-MP is the second high-level official to be arrested by the authorities within two months as part of Ukraine's anti-corruption drive. Prosecutors were seeking for the court to set bail at 11.2 million U.S. dollars. Instead, the court ruled to release Martininko without bail and order him to surrender his travel documents. Many argue the court's rulings demonstrates the former lawmakers' influence in backroom dealings, which are notorious in Ukrainian politics. More than 20 Ukrainian lawmakers vouched for Martinenko's character to secure his release. This is what he said after the courtroom appearance. We could break the uncivilized, non-legal and totally politicized tendency to imprison people, but this would not be a victory. I'm not going anywhere and I thank those who helped to secure my release. I promise you I will stay in my residence. Martinenko resigned as a member of parliament in 2015 after reports surfaced of Swiss authorities investigating him on money laundering charges. As per of the same case, anti-corruption agents also arrested Sergei Perloma. He was the first deputy chairman of Ukraine's state-owned Naftogaz company. Both of the accused deny any wrongdoing.